going on guys? Hunter Labrada here, uh, Legacy Barbell, about to hit some shoulders. Uh, so last time I talked with y'all was a couple weeks back, the day after I won the overall at the Europa. Uh, since then, um, I haven't been taking it easy by any means, but definitely 16 week prep, beats the body up. So definitely been, you know, enjoying life, eating when I want to eat, still training my ass off just because that's what I love to do. But, uh, you know, like seeing friends that don't really understand what it's like to be on prep and don't really understand the lifestyle. So catching up with people outside of the little bodybuilding bubble that I live in on prep. Uh, you know, just kind of enjoying life and training hard. So uh, about to get in here and get shoulders in at Legacy Barbell and then go catch up with the rest of the crew at Powerhouse tonight for that gas meetup. So really looking forward to that. See y'all in there. Pretty standard for me. Um, started with rear delts. I uh, always like to start with uh, rear delts. I feel like same thing as calves. It's one of those things kind of gets tacked on as an afterthought. But uh, whenever you have real strong rear delts, it helps bring up all your side poses and then in your back poses as well. So started with that. Um, you know, really uh, pre-exhausted with some laterals. Got into two different kinds of presses. Really like doing barbell military and then some kind of machine or dumbbell press. Uh, finished up with some supersets for. Uh, more side laterals and rear delts, and uh, it was a good one. Had a ton of blood in my shoulders. Normally, I train triceps after shoulders, but uh, saved triceps from today, and then did back yesterday. Normally, do biceps with back, but saved biceps and triceps for tonight's meetup because he doesn't like to train arms whenever you're hanging out with everyone. Pumped about that meetup tonight. I uh, had a chance to talk to Guy real briefly at the American Fitness Expo a couple weeks back. But uh, you know, all the guys like I've just kind of spoke to real briefly. So it'll be real cool to actually get to shoot the shit with them for a couple hours, lift some weights, hopefully get some food or something, and meet all the people that came out to meet us. So really looking forward to that. Powerhouse is an awesome gym, and then tomorrow is going to be an awesome day. The branch got that huge expo, the seminar. Uh, Got my best friend and training partner competing in it, so super stoked for this weekend, tonight and tomorrow. Just training in general, today pretty much epitomized how I train. Um, I like to train super intense, I like to train really fast, but uh, at the same time I like to really control the weights and target the muscle. I don't really, you won't see me swinging weights around, you won't see me really half-assing or cheating on reps. You know, if I can't handle the weight, I'll go a little lower. I'd much rather get like a full contraction, make the target muscle work, than use everything but the muscle I'm trying to train to get the weight up, so. Like I said, I trained fast. I think we started at like 9.15 and it's 10 o'clock right now and we finished. It was like an 18 set shoulder workout in 45 minutes. That's typically about how it is. You know, like leg days might be like an hour and a half, but typically it's about an hour, hour and 10 minutes tops. I just, you know, when it's by myself, it's one of those things I almost train too fast. When I'm training with my training partner, I rest while he goes and then I'm right back at it, kind of chomping at the bit almost before he's done with his set. So pretty much how I train. Uh, haven't really changed shit up in a while. It's been working for me, so I haven't really seen a point to. I'm one of those if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of people. I feel like I, uh, like a lot of bodybuilders, had a strong athletic background. I actually played football all through high school. It was all state my senior year. I uh, went on a football scholarship to school up in Boston my freshman year before I figured out I like training to play football more than I actually like playing football. So uh, that served me real well for like my legs and stuff. My legs are a strong part. I was in a squat rack at least once a week from the time I was 13 on. So got a real strong base, blessed with a real good coach. So had real good form on all of my major big three lifts. Um, so you know, like over the years, like I had to start taking out, you know, like some of the stuff I enjoyed, but had no place in bodybuilding, like hang cleans, power cleans, push press, stuff like that. So, transition more from you know training for functional strength and power and explosiveness to purely hypertrophy or muscle growth. So, um, training like I have been right now, I, I'd say I've been training about how I train, uh, like you saw now for about two years now, and that's just kind of something you know it's been trial and error for myself, you know, just. 
like being a sponge around people that I admire, feel like I know what they're talking about. Always down to learn something new, always down to try something new. If it works for me, awesome. It gets thrown in the arsenal. If it doesn't work, hey, I tried it and no love lost, right? So training style and philosophy has definitely just been kind of a uh, ongoing learning process. You know, the second you stop trying to learn, the second you stop making any progress. So definitely just try to keep an open mind and uh, always looking for new things, but I really feel like I've started to arrive at something that's gonna serve me well for the years to come.